I'm Darcy from InventorArtist.com and I'm about to show you how to make a circle plane or a piece plane. So I'm starting with an 8.5 piece, uh, eight and a half sheet of uh, 8.5 by 11 sheet of bond paper, ordinary photocopy paper. So here's how. We fold it the long way, leaving about 2.5 centimeters gap. Then we fold it a second time, leaving about 1 centimeter gap. And on the third fold, we just cut the space in half that's left. We pick the thing up and start breaking it so we're about to form it into a hoop. So I want to join these two sides. The technique is we're going to flip the last fold out. You see that? Just the end, the last fold. And once that's done, we can then slide the thing together. Now not here, but all the way back and slide that together. Then reset the fold. Notice I have about almost two centimeters overlap. And once the fold is reset, you can uh, then round it off. Now the way you throw this is you're going to throw it uh, with the heavy side first where the folds are. You throw it like a football. You can use lots of force. Try to throw it pretty level. Okay, so here goes. And there it goes. And I'm going to show you how to make uh, what I call the long plane. I've been making this thing since childhood. It's based on the traditional model airplane. I've started with an ordinary 20 pound uh, bond paper, 8.5 by 11. I just did a fold to find the center. And I'm going to do just the traditional, the traditional paper airplane fold for the front. And then the second traditional one from the traditional uh, paper plane. Now what I'm doing differently is I'm going to take the point and fold it in so that the plane is blunt. Okay, So it will be a blunt plane. So folding in half, like so. Oopsie. Try to get that to go on the center line again. There. Okay, so it's just a V. I'm going to add the wings in now. You can see the gap that I've left there. Folding the second uh, wing on it. Uh, this way maybe. No, this way works better. Just sort of flip that up so both wings are the same. And trick is, make sure the wings are facing up a bit like that angle right there. Instead of facing down. See there's a little bit of a V in there. And that's when the plane is relaxed. We're going to tear a, a little square there. So there's a little... Uh, a little square piece there, I just tore straight down. We push this through the airplane, so it pops up like a little fin. Then we can adjust how much this airplane wants to climb simply by tilting this forward and pinching the bottom. And notice how that makes it get stuck tilted forward. And that adds a bit of reflex to the back. So that's an adjustment you can make on the plane. So I'll do a test flight maybe. Here's a, go ahead, is it rolling? Oh yeah, it's still going. Okay. <laughs> like so, he got uh, in it too. Here goes. So we'll just give this a test fly and see the idea. 